This is Sound in Season. It's Monday, the ninth day of Advent. Our scripture for the day comes from the book of Psalms, chapter 40, a Psalm of David. I waited patiently for the Lord. He inclined to me and heard my cry. He drew me up from the pit of destruction, out of the miry bog, and set my feet upon a rock, making my steps secure. He put a new song in my mouth, a song of praise to our God. Many will see and fear and put their trust in the Lord. Blessed is the man who makes the Lord his trust, who does not turn to the proud, to those who go astray after a lie. You have multiplied, O Lord my God, your wondrous deeds and your thoughts toward us. None can compare with you. I will proclaim and I will tell of them, yet they're more than can be told. In sacrifice and offering you have not delighted, but you have given me an open ear. Burnt offering and sin offering you have not required. Then I said, Behold, I have come. In the scroll of the book it is written of me. I delight to do your will, O my God. Your law is within my heart. I have told the glad news of deliverance in the great congregation. Behold, I've not restrained my lips, as you know, O Lord. I've not hidden your deliverance within my heart. I've spoken of your faithfulness and your salvation. I have not concealed your steadfast love and your faithfulness from the great congregation. As for you, O Lord, you will not restrain your mercy from me. Your steadfast love and your faithfulness will ever preserve me. For evils have encompassed me beyond number. My iniquities have overtaken me and I cannot see. They are more than the hairs of my head. My heart fails me. Be pleased, O Lord, to deliver me. O Lord, make haste to help me. Let those be put to shame and disappointed altogether who seek to snatch away my life. Let those be turned back and brought to dishonor who delight in my hurt. Let those be appalled because of their shame who say to me, Aha! Aha! But may all who seek you rejoice and be glad in you. May those who love your salvation say continually, Great is the Lord! As for me, I am poor and needy, but the Lord takes thought for me. You are my help and my deliverer. Do not delay, O my God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now this psalm has always been one of my favorites. No matter where you are in life, whether in the heights of joy and thankfulness, or in the depths of sorrow and fear, this psalm speaks to you. In fact, it not only speaks to you, but it is written so that it can actually speak for you. The theme of this psalm is that of God's deliverance for his people. And in it, David praises the God who has drawn him out of the pit, out of destruction, and out of hopelessness. And God has now set his feet on a rock, making his steps secure In light of this deliverance, David just simply can't stay quiet. He must proclaim the Lord's faithfulness. He has to shout it out to all of God's people. It wouldn't be right for him to conceal it or to restrain himself. Verse 11 says that God has not restrained his mercy from David. And David says that he will not restrain his lips from sharing it. Have you ever been in this situation? Have you ever experienced the Lord's provision and protection and love so tangibly that you truly can't help but share it? I know that recently in my own life, this is exactly how I've felt. God has done so much for me, for my family, that there's simply no way that I could keep it inside. 
His deliverance and his care for me as one who is poor and needy is so great that I must proclaim it in the congregation. To keep it in would be wrong. Praise God that he has given us an example and the inspired words to praise him in such times. May we always be faithful to sing of his faithfulness and his deliverance. And yet, you might not be in this situation today. In fact, you may wonder how you can relate to the psalm at all. Perhaps you're the one in the mire, in the pit of destruction. Are evils encompassing you? Have your iniquities overtaken you? Do you feel like your heart is failing? Psalm 40 reminds us that we are not forsaken. It grounds us in this truth the Lord takes thought for me. He will not restrain his mercy. Now, if you're in this place, call out to the Lord. Scream it or whisper it with David and say, you are my help, my deliverer. Do not delay, oh my God. Friend, today, if you are in that pit, remember that you aren't alone and that you aren't forgotten. Psalm 40 really seems to hop back and forth between this calamity and deliverance, brokenness and salvation. Does that sound familiar? We rarely seem to stay in one phase for very long. The life of a follower of Jesus in a broken world is to poignantly feel the effects and the realities of our brokenness, and then to desperately call out to God for help and to wait for his deliverance. Though the details may vary, he will answer and he will help. Now we follow David's example in waiting and in calling and in hoping until the Lord does answer us. Ultimately, we know that he has already provided for our deliverance in Jesus. He is the rock on which our feet are firmly set no matter how the ground shakes or the storm rage, Christ is our eternal help and our deliverer. Set your hope on God and praise him for your salvation that is provided in Jesus, our great deliverer. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. O Lord, it is for you we wait. Incline your ear to us. Hear our cry. We are poor and needy. You, however, are our strong help and our deliverer. Do not delay in rescuing us, O oh God. We know that you have already met our greatest need in your son, Jesus. In him, our rock, do we have secure footing. And so we trust that you will again rescue us as you have in Jesus from the tyrants of sin, death, and hopelessness. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen.